Hi folks, my name's Jeb, I'm the Crazy Pigeon Lady and it's my mission to entertain, educate and inspire you with all things pigeon and dove. Thank you for joining me for hashtag Ask the Crazy Pigeon Lady where I am answering your questions. If you haven't asked a question yet, please pop it down in the comments below and I will endeavour to get to as many questions as I can. So on uh, this episode we have a great question. Um, are there general differences between behaviours of feral pigeons and smaller doves? And this is asked by Jira's World. Uh, so Jira's world, uh, there absolutely are, yes, so let's talk about that. Uh, so when we talk about feral pigeons, we are talking about feral uh, birds of the species Columba livia, uh, the rock pigeon, which is also the, the species we have domesticated, the domestic pigeon, um, which I talk about a lot on this channel. And yes, there absolutely are differences uh, between those birds and the smaller doves. Uh, by that, I'm going to assume that you're referring to smaller uh, species of columbid that are doves that are perhaps commonly uh, seen or, or kept as pets. So, for example, things like Eurasian collar doves, uh, ring neck doves, also known as uh, Barbary doves, other small doves like zebra doves, white wing doves, diamond doves, that, that kind of thing, uh, which are also kept as pets. So the rock pigeon uh, is a social uh, is a social bird, meaning it is a fundamental part of its strategy for survival and the way that it lives and operates to operate as part of a group. And that comes with all sorts of skills and behaviours that are necessary for functioning and surviving in a group. Other species of columbird, in, including the smaller doves I mentioned before, are not necessarily social in the sense that they require to operate within a group uh, in order as a necessary part of their survival. They may be what I call gregarious, or what is called gregarious, which is that they may gather in numbers where, where a water source or a food source is plentiful, um, but the fact that they're gathering together to exploit a plentiful food or water source does not necessarily mean that they are that they are social. They're probably still operating as an individual or, or in family groups. Uh, so the the key difference is is as I've discussed there is that the pigeons are social and doves are not necessarily social. Now. Being in a social group, as pigeons are, uh, there needs to be the, the pecking order, there needs to be an organisation that is based on, on dominant and less dominant birds. So for a bird to establish itself within this pecking order, it needs to have a certain amount of social skills, uh, which in pigeon terms involves a certain amount of aggression. If you are going to get to the top of the, the pecking order and be a dominant bird, then you need to be, you need to be more aggressive, essentially. Uh, you need to be able to bully other birds, if you like, to make sure that you get the, the best food, uh, you, that you get the best nest spot, that you get the, the best mates. And so that will create a sense of uh, competition. But also, as well as kind of the, the competitive side of it, there's also the cooperative side of it too. So, so pigeons work together as well, so they will alert uh, each other with, with alert and warning calls while some pigeons are feeding, others will be looking out for danger. When they fly together, a pigeon will, will lead for, na for navigation. Uh, purposes and things like that. So being part of a social group isn't all about uh, aggression and dominance, it's also about cooperation too. So because doves don't necessarily operate as a social group, they don't have necessarily the same kind of social skills. So when we bring doves into the human environment, when we then require them to be social, or our expectation is that we require them to be social, uh, either with us or with our other animals, our other birds, maybe even we also have pigeons, um, then they won't necessarily behave in the same way or have the same skills because they are not adapted for life as part of a social group. And so they may uh, uh, behave in ways that are quite uh, different from pigeons. So for example, doves may be shyer, for example. They're not as easily, they'll be, they'll be a bit more wild, perhaps a little more skittish. Uh, they won't necessarily bond with humans uh, as easily. They won't necessarily uh, want to be uh, as close to you or, or any uh, number of, of other things. Um, I will just talk for a moment about putting pigeons and, and doves together, which is something I mentioned in my Pigeons as Pets series, episode 9 on pet safety. Um, it's 
it's a bit risky uh, to put pigeons and doves together in the same environment. Pigeons are larger and as I said before they, they have a certain amount of aggression um, and they will expect to be able to interact with doves on their own terms uh, and doves are, are not equipped to, to, to deal with that kind of uh, bullying dominant structure that, that is normal for the pigeons and because pigeons are larger and stronger than the doves they have the potential to injure a dove uh, quite severely not because they're necessarily mean or nasty but, but simply because the pigeon is doing what is natural to them and the dove doesn't necessarily know how to handle that. That's not to say that in the wild there wouldn't be an element of aggression between doves. So during the breeding season, for example, uh, especially when birds are gathering together, sharing a food source, you know, there might be small amounts of aggression shown between males, most likely, um, who are who are trying to feed in the same area. Perhaps if they get a, a little bit too too close to one another, uh, that could happen. Uh, so in answer to your question, the key differences between feral uh, pigeons and smaller doves is that uh, the pigeons, feral domestic pigeon Columba Livia, is a social bird and has evolved uh, to use social skills to establish uh, dominance and to cooperate within a flock. Whereas smaller doves are solitary birds that may gather together to exploit certain sources of food, but they're not operating as a social group and therefore they don't have the same kind of social skills and therefore won't necessarily interact with humans or, other, or your other animals or birds in a way that is as social or as naturally social. That's not to say, however, that, that doves can't uh, learn to adapt and there are certainly people who have uh, doves out there who have become quite sweet and quite affectionate uh, birds, so that is definitely possible. I hope that has answered your